Number one, at some point in time, a body becomes a corpse and words are stuck on paper and neither can be taken back, not really. But every time you read them and every time his name is said, it feels like how you felt before you put your head on the page, before that moment when a body is no longer a body and now it's something else. But the moment has already passed by the time you first get back to yourself. The moment has already passed when you think you may want to reword what you said. The moment has already passed and you are different now. You are left with a shell that has only ever felt one way and you will never feel it again. Number two, there was a bruise on the back of your left leg. A really ugly one, all purple and yellow and red in the middle, and you don't even remember what happened. You think it must have been from when you filled those garbage bags full of new books just to get them out of the basement closet. You felt bad about throwing books away, but at the same time, the longer you would have had to look at them, the more you would have wanted to keep them there because all of the good parts of them were left behind in this closet. Maybe you took the dirty bag to the garbage outside, maybe a hardcover book about JavaScript code or modern architecture or helicopters jabbed really hard in the back of your leg that you didn't realize was in the back. There's nothing about a bruise that you make you miss someone, but you know this doesn't really matter. Number two, your mother believes too much in karma. She believes in hell and she believes he's going there. You remember that bracelet on the day after Christmas and how selling it now is made for the cross around your neck. You have never been religious, more superstitious than anything. This is for wishing you could believe in it entirely and fully. But you believe in God the same way you believe in Jesus. The moment you think it can never be true is the moment before it becomes something true. 